Hello, this is a tutorial on how to boot the PC Duino. You ought to use two SD cards, one with the kernel, another one with the Ubuntu system. You can also use a single card, first of all format it as an image with the kernel, about uh, 17 megabytes. And the second one about uh, 1.6 gigabyte. After you finish with this, reflash it and enter it again. Uh, let's begin. First of all, I insert the kernel. Oops. Doing it with a single hand and in the, uh, with the header, other hand holding the phone to shoot the movie is quite difficult. It's nice. Now let's power it on. Power is connected. There's nothing on the screen. The LED blinks. The specification says it is now flashing the built-in NAND chip. You must wait until it finishes. Takes, I guess, about a minute. Oh well. That was quite fast. Afterwards, you have to power it down. Replace the SD card. The SD card replaced. Now let's power it back again. Oops. We have a nice piece of Duino logo. Stuff is loading up quite fast. It seems to be working. Whoa, it will now take about 8 minutes to finish. I'm going to pause on the video and resume when it is almost done. Back again, as you can see, the install was finished. Now let's boot it up. Powering it yet again with no SD card. I'll plug it in. This is doing a logo. Loading. So <laughs> this means doing some adjustments, I assume. This is my Raspberry Pi, this is my PC Duino, hmm, that's interesting. And it is booting up straight into the GUI. 
that's nice. Oh, I didn't connect the keyboard and the mouse. Let's connect it. Now connected the keyboard and the mouse, the wireless one. This is the dangle of the mouse and the keyboard. Looks nice. The mouse is very responsive. Oh, I didn't connect the network. Let's connect the network. Disconnect the Raspberry Pi and connect it. We now have LAN. Now let's see how fast is it. Let's open up Chromium. I think that it is faster, a lot faster than the Raspberry Pi. It is dual core a bit more on the megahertz let's go to I don't know YouTube quite fast You can also install Chromium on the Raspberry Pi. It is more smoother on this device. Let's see playback. Let's see if we can watch it. It's buffering, I assume. Now, go, please dive in later. Mm, that's interesting. I guess in YouTube, Kim Kardashian is very popular. Let's see if this will load. Hmm. Okay, we'll see it later. Let's open CNN and see how fast it works. fast. Oh, I think it is way more better than the Raspberry Pi. A lot better. Let's see if there are any updates. You bent off. Get apps. Hmm. Not the way it doesn't work. Let's check it out. Let's do some updates. Okay. 
Good. Update. Oops, I wrote the SUDU instead of SUDO. stuff Assume that it is updating a lot of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Calculator, leash pan. Conflicting distribution. faster because we already did the update let's install also a VNC server Server installed for my Raspberry. <coughs> for my Raspberry Pi. version. Let's see. Type. So let's see what we got here. What is in Napting packaging? It can go service in action XPMC 